possible and what is not possible is not your business. That is nature's business. Nature will decide. You just see what is it that you really want and strive for that. And if your thought is created in a powerful way without any negativity, without any negative thoughts, bringing down the intensity of the thought process, it will definitely manifest. So to create what you really care for, the first and foremost thing is you must be clear what is it that you really want. If you do not know what you want, the question of creating doesn't arise. If you look at what you really want, what every human being wants is he wants to live joyfully, he wants to live peacefully, in terms of his relationships, he wants to be loving and affectionate. Or in other words, all that any human being is seeking for is pleasantness within himself, pleasantness around him. This pleasantness, if it happens in our body, we call this health and pleasure. If it happens in our mind, we call this peace and joy. If it happens in our emotion, we call this love and compassion. If it happens in our energy, we call this blissfulness and ecstasy. This is all that a human being is looking for. Whether he is going to his office to work, he wants to make money, build a career, build a family, he sits in the bar, sits in the temple, he is still looking for the same thing. Pleasantness within, pleasantness around. If this is what we want to create, I think it's time we address it directly and commit ourselves to creating. So you want to create yourself as a peaceful human being, joyful human being, loving human being, a pleasant human being, all of us. And do you also want a world like this? A peaceful world, a loving world, a joyful world. No, no, I want greenery, I want food. When we say a joyful world, that means everything that we want is happening. So this is all that you're looking for. So all that you need to do is commit yourself to creating it. To create a peaceful, joyful, and loving world, both for yourself and everybody around you. Every day in the morning, if you start your day with this simple thought on your mind, that today, wherever I go, I will create a peaceful, loving, and joyful world. If you fall down hundred times in a day, what does it matter? For a hundred men, there is no such thing as failure. If you fall down hundred times, hundred less to be learned. If you commit yourself like this to creating what you really care for, now your mind gets organized. Once your mind gets organized, the way you think is the way you feel, your emotion gets organized. Once your thought and emotion is organized, your energy will get organized in the same direction. Once your thought, emotion, and energy is organized, your very body will be organized. Once all these four are organized in one direction, your ability to create and manifest what you want is phenomenal. You are the creator of humanities. The very source of creation is functioning within you. If you organize these four dimensions of mind, emotion, body, and energy in one direction, the source of creation is with you. You are the creator. What you want to create will happen to you effortlessly. Once you are organized like this, now you are not a mess. You are a culture. You have the power to create what you want. Sync Mind is dedicated to fifteen lessons from some of the most influential thinkers in the world. We've selected the main findings in video summaries and combined them with audio, binaural beats, and isochronic tones, taking your experience to the next level so that you can use our videos to implement life changes right away. It is time to stop labeling our habits as simply good or bad. Look at life in terms of what can be changed and do something about it. Crying about things you cannot change is a sure strategy to remain in a negative state. Tip 1. Stop labeling your days as bad or good days. Why are you trying to label a day as bad day? It is only human beings who, in their experience, they do this thing Why they do this thing See, today there's a glorious sunrise. Millions of flowers blossom across the planet. So many wonderful things that happen. Even the stars are twinkling right now. The moon is full today. Everything is fantastic. But one worm of a thought in your head. Why this story? Somewhere you are giving. Oh, it's nothing. A lot more important to you than the defense process. He's being alive. You're being a psychological agent.